Washington, the United States sanctioned two North Korean officials on Tuesday, December 26, over their country's ballistic missile program, in Washington's latest effort to punish Pyongyang for its weapons development drive. Tensions have escalated after the isolated but nuclear-armed regime staged a series of atomic and intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM, tests, most recently on November 28, while U.S. President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un have traded insults. Treasury is targeting leaders of North Korea's ballistic missile programs, as part of our maximum pressure campaign to isolate the DPRK and achieve a fully denuclearized Korean peninsula, Treasury Secretary Stephen Nukin said in a statement, referring to North Korea by its formal initials. The two officials were listed last Friday in a new United Nations Security Council resolution sanctioning North Korea, it said. Kim Jong-sik reportedly is a key figure in North Korea's ballistic missile development, including efforts to switch from liquid to solid fuel, and R.I.P. Onkol is reported to be a key official involved in North Korea's intercontinental ballistic missile development, the Treasury statement said. Solid fuel missiles can be fired on shorter notice as they do not have to be fueled prior to launch. As a result of today's actions, any property or interests in property of those designated by OFAC within U.S. jurisdiction are blocked, and transactions by U.S. persons involving the designated person are generally prohibited, Treasury said, referring to its Office of Foreign Assets Control. The sanctions announcement came as Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson held talks by phone in which they discussed North Korea's nuclear program. New UN sanctions the sides were united in the opinion that nuclear missile projects in North Korea violate the demands of the UN Security Council, the Russian Foreign Ministry said after the call. Lavrov once again highlighted that it is unacceptable to exacerbate tensions around the Korean peninsula with Washington's aggressive rhetoric toward Pyongyang and increasing military preparations in the region, it said. Trump habitually refers to Kim as little rocket man and has threatened to utterly destroy his regime with fire and fury. North Korea has branded Trump a mentally disturbed dotard. It was underlined that it is necessary to move from the language of sanctions to the negotiating process as soon as possible, the statement said, adding that it was Tillerson who initiated the call. On Friday, the UN Security Council unanimously passed new, US-drafted sanctions that will restrict oil supplies vital for North Korea's missile and nuclear programs. The third raft of sanctions imposed on the North this year, sparked by last month's ICBM test, also received the backing of China, the North's sole major ally and economic lifeline. The sanctions also order the repatriation of North Korean workers sent abroad to earn much-needed revenue for Kim's regime. North Korea slammed the fresh UN sanctions as an act of war.